We are at Unknown Festival in Croatia. It's very exciting. We're joined by Clean Bandits. How's you guys? How's it going? Hello. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. We just we had an early morning, but we're pleased to be here. I know. You told me earlier that it's you're pretty tired. You're pretty tired, but it's okay. We'll make it very easy going. But look at the, look at the view. It's amazing, right? Yeah. It's, I can't believe it. Yeah. It's incredible. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so just before we get started, I'm going to say a few things. So you guys, I mean, you've been playlisted by Radio One. A um, lot of support from Hugh Stevens. Yeah. Um, your track A and E featured number one in the electronic chart. Which is really cool. That's like you know, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, how did you guys get started? What? How did it all begin for you? Um, Grace and I were playing together classically at, at university, and Grace's boyfriend Jack started recording our concerts, and then kind of started playing around with the con with the recordings and like chopping them up and producing them and adding beats and stuff yeah. and that was kind of the beginning of okay, an band. amazing thing <laughs> yeah if you say so yeah no it's, no it's really good i mean you guys have also supported the likes of ellie golding um how did that feel i mean she's like massive right now did she have any advice for you um no she didn't give us any advice but it was really amazing that was in ibiza rocks and um it was just such a good atmosphere and she was so good i had never seen her live before so it was really cool yeah um yeah, and we supported Disclosure earlier in the year. We did a tour amazing. with them, and that was amazing. Um, and we're just about to support Bastille on their tour, so it's quite like uh, cool seeing these really different yeah. acts and being part of their tours. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, your sound's been described as electronic slash acoustic. Would you agree with that description, or would you kind of like to digress a little bit? Yeah, I mean. We've never, we've never really done anything acoustically, but but we both play like wooden classical instruments, I right. suppose. But um, it's definitely electronic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. okay. So, what did you guys grow up listening to? What was your kind of, you know, what's the first song you remember listening to as a young pup, so to speak? I don't know. We we all well, we're both. We've obviously both listened to a lot of classical music, yeah. and and also Grace and I used to run a club night, which was heavily dominated by. 90s UK yeah. garage. I heard about that. You guys put some really big people, right? Yeah, that's they quite cool. So big at the time, yeah. but um, a lot. Not all of them, but most of them have gone yeah. on to. Are you willing to name drop? Is there any names you want to? Um, James Blake, George Fitzgerald, Pariah. Oh. Are those those are the main ones? Yeah. Okay. So obviously you've got like a classical background. Is there anything that you kind of moved to now, and you think, do you know what? This is what I really like listening to. Like. Do, are you kind of a bit of a hip hop fan, or are you very much like classically trained? I'm going to stay with classically trained. No, not at all. Uh, we listen to loads of different stuff, and um, Neil DJs a lot, so, and kind of garage. Old school garage. Yeah. What, like the good stuff, like Miss Dynamite, or like are we talking yeah, more classic? A little, a little bit. I DJed at Festival last weekend just before DJ EZ, which is amazing. Nice. <laughs> Mad. It's a pure garage legend. Yeah. But I wasn't playing. The, I was playing slightly more, slightly okay. more contemporary. Exactly. <laughs> okay, well, that's still kind of cool. I mean, this festival obviously is based in Croatia. How did you get involved in? How did you get involved in Unknown? Because the first year that they've done Unknown, how did it happen? Well, we played at Field Day in June, right. um, which it's organised by the same people. So they right. that was uh, an amazing gig for us at Field Day. It was so euphoric, yeah. and um, it was kind of the first one of the summer. And um, yeah, and they invited us here. Nice. Where's been the best place you've played so far? Uh, Reading. Reading. Why Reading? Because there were just all these like mental seventeen-year-olds <laughs> going crazy, and so yeah. we had like a, an incredible time on stage. Yeah. It was okay. it was it was so fun. Okay, fair dues. So um, Mozart's house. Tell us a bit about that. Uh, it's kind of it's quite an old track for us. Like yeah. it's been around. We made a video for it in 2010, uh, and that's when the track's been about since. But we re-released it this year, yeah. and it's our most successful. Well, it charted quite well. Like it was, you know, again, it's supported by Radio One. A lot of people were behind it. Was that when you first heard it? Obviously on the radio. Was that an iconic moment? Do you remember where you were? Yeah, we were um, we were filming another video for our song UK Shanty in Cornwall, in in the sea, and. Um, yeah, just got a tweet saying that Fern Cotton had, had just played. Kind of cool. Yeah. And um, and then the next day, like a lot of like labels and people started calling and that. So it was quite an iconic moment, yeah. I guess. Cool. 
Okay, so um, is anything, obviously you guys are quite cool, we all know that, is anything in your collection that you're, you know, if you've got like a Spice Girls classic, or maybe a Justin Bieber classic, you think, do you know what? I, I'm not going to mention it. This really beautiful, like incredibly orange Spice Girls poster on her wall, but... Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to kill you for saying this. <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot of Spice Girls posters. I knew, I could feel it. <laughs> <laughs> From back then. And Ace of Base, I was obsessed with Ace as well. Ace of Base were a good time too. Um, yeah, but I don't think you can be embarrassed of the Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> They've sold a lot of units, I guess. That's the positive. I saw Hudson Mohawk saying something like, increasingly he finds he just loves all music. Yeah. And I think that's how I feel, like none yeah. of it is embarrassing. Yeah, that's probably the best way to be really, I guess. Um, I'm sure later on you guys can discuss this whole thing about Spice Girls. <laughs> I feel bad for bringing this up to be honest. Um, but yeah, just moving along a little bit. Um, so where can the guys at home check you out? If they want to find out more about what you guys do, where you're gigging, where can they go? Uh, we've got a Facebook page, a Twitter, and we, we've got a lot of music videos that we make all ourselves that are on YouTube. Okay. Um, and we, we're going on, we've got our first headline tour in October, so if people want to... Nice, yeah. nice. So, cleanbandit.com. Very clean, <laughs> very clean.